Hey guys, I hope you all had a good weekend. So today I'm going to be talking about the Lost Boys with Keith Sutherland. It's not, excuse me, it's not necessarily like scary, but it was a really good movie. Very memorable. I just, yeah. That Corey Haim. There's a lot of star studded actors who were pretty young in it. I mean, compared to other roles they've been in. Um, so if you haven't seen it, it's about this family that moves in California. I think they originally lived with. I think they move in with their grandfather or something like that. He's kind of eccentric, has just all sorts of stuff. I mean, yeah, I think she lives with him and at first they're reasonably not too happy about moving all the way from one area to the next. Uh, they have a single mom, just kind of hard for her, but her kids are more grown, so it's, yeah, she can manage. One of them's like middle school age, about the other is this I think he's like high school, college, the older sibling of the two. They eventually find their respected um, guest group of friends. The younger, the younger guy hangs out with a bunch of uh, comic book nerds who are really fascinated with all sorts of monster comics. They usually hang out there. And then the older brother, he's more... I guess he seems like he'd be in a, I guess, sort of biker gang, not really, or just hang out with people like that. And he runs into this girl, I'm pretty sure, a club or something, or a fair, I can't really remember which one. He is interested in her, and the leader of the vampire gang notices that, and they recruit him. He finds out that she's not, I don't think she's technically a vampire yet. Like, she hasn't been, I guess you could call it initiated. Um, I think eventually, like, the two, like, main boys, uh, like, the older one gets turned into a vampire. I think either he's a vampire or he's, like, a frawl. Which, I mean, it's kind of like a vampire, but not full-fledged. I mean, I'm guessing. I haven't seen in a little while, but yeah. Basically, his younger brother finds out, and then it turns out that the two, like, geeky boys, two or three geeky boys who hang out with him, are vampire hunters. They just, at first, want to kill <laughs> his brother. He's like, no, man, that's not cool. You can't kill him. They're like, okay. And I think... The thing is, if you get, in this movie at least, if you get partially turned to vampire or something like that, if you, I think it goes, I mean, if you kill the vampire that turns you, then you will be cured. At least I'm pretty sure what that um entailed for him. So basically they had to like, find a way to kill him, not going to spoil it for you anyways, it's about that and the guy just hang out with the group of vampires like the main leader has like this blonde uh, this plenum blonde hair it kind of reminds me of spike a little from buffy the vampire slayer i mean it's just his mannerisms are like that too um kind of a douchebag or something you can easily tell he's the ringleader i mean the others are less i guess Rough and tumble, they still are, but it's always, you know, like the ringleader is the toughest of all of them, is able to keep the rest in check and all that, all that jazz. So, yeah, it's a really good movie. Like, I just like the whole unique vampire thing. Like, I mean, I don't know, I just, I liked it. It was, it was a good plot. I liked the characters and just really felt for, especially the younger browser, found out that. Like, you know, his older sibling It's kind of like close to being a vampire or just sort of, sort of a vampire, just, man, a new recruit and just trying to help him and all that stuff. 
and it's just really good. You should check it out. I think it's a movie that、um, came out in the eighties, and I know I haven't really talked about eighties movies that much, but this one I was very pleasantly surprised. I believe it's on Netflix. Like I've told y'all a lot of times, most of the horror movies I watch are on Netflix, but occasionally. I go on other sites like Amazon. It really depends on how willing I am to buy the horror movie, and yeah, I mean it's not much else to it except for like you know the older brother, he falls in love with this girl. I mean she's she's really pretty and stuff like that. Has a good personality, smart. I mean, yeah, I don't really know exactly how she falls in with the main vampire. Person, and I have no idea. This may be who just drawn them because had that sort of charisma,、um, and yet, like I said a million times, y'all should definitely watch it. It's not. I mean, I guess the ending is kind of gory. Also, there's a plot twist to the ending. Like I did not expect it. I'm not going to tell you guys anything, so don't worry about it. I'm just gonna say I was very surprised. It's like what the shit. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys like this. Feels kind of brief. I don't want to get too into it because I like y'all to just pick up more of the details as you watch the movie. I just do reviews where sometimes I spoil the ending. Yeah, sometimes I do. Other times, you know, I'm just vague about it because I want you guys to you know pick up things. And just enjoy the movie, and I have spoiled everything for you. So yeah, for this one, gave sort of vague details. All right, I'm gonna go, and I hope you give this video a like or dislike. Yeah, I know. Yeah, probably don't hear much YouTubers say that. So yeah, make sure to subscribe though. Um, I post videos every Mondays and Wednesday. Monday, sorry, Mondays. Fuck Mondays and Fridays. I don't know why I say Wednesdays. Okay, just Mondays. And Fridays, all right. And I will see you guys then. Adios.